Welcome to Royal Secrets. The Sussexes will visit the UK next month for the first time since the Platinum Jubilee, according to Harry and Meghan. But before we continue please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. Beginning in early September, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will return to the nation for the first time since the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June. The One Young World Summit which brings together young leaders from more than 190 nations, will be visited by the couple on September 5. Along with tycoon Richard Branson, chef Jamie Oliver, and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Meghan serves as a counsellor for the organization. Before returning to the UK for the Well Child Awards on September 8, the couple will fly to Germany for the Invictus Games Dusseldorf 2023 one-year-to-go event. Prince Harry, a former army commander, established the Invictus Games in 2014 for veterans and wounded service members. The event will take place in Dusseldorf the next year for the sixth time, it is conducted every two years. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are happy to visit with numerous organizations near to their hearts in early September, a spokeswoman for the couple said. The couple introduced their daughter Lilibet to the Queen during their most recent trip to Britain for the Jubilee. However, due to their diminished status in the royal family, the couple only went to one formal celebration event, the Thanksgiving ceremony at St. Paul's Cathedral. Following their contentious relocation to California in January 2020, the Duke and Duchess retired from active royal duties. Intruders apparently targeted the couple's Montecito mansion twice in a 12-day period, it was disclosed last month. Archie and Lilibet, Harry, and Meghan's two children, were reportedly present when the police were notified of both incidences. According to Santa Barbara police records, their U.S. residence has received six security alert calls over the last 14 months. Charles's new position is not in good standing because the prince stepped a line the queen never has. Along with other members of the royal family, including Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, Queen Elizabeth II, Prince William, and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, Prince Charles is reportedly enjoying his customary summer vacation in Scotland. Last week, the Prince of Wales was seen driving as he made his way to the Sunday service at Crathy Kirk and Balmoral. Later, he was joined by his niece Lady Louise Windsor and younger brother Prince Edward, who had driven to the funeral in a different vehicle. The royals regularly visit the church, which is close to Balmoral Castle, and only a five-minute walk away, while they are in Scotland. The Crathy Kirk has a history with royalty dating back to 1848, when Queen Victoria started attending services there, starting a storied family legacy. Since July, Queen Elizabeth II has been residing at the Scottish estate, but she has largely avoided the spotlight. Due to episodic mobility difficulties, Her Majesty has stepped down from official responsibilities recently. The recent Channel 4 documentary The Real Windsors quoted journalist and Talc Radio Breakfast show host Julia Hartley Brewer as saying that the Prince of Wales has crossed a line that the Queen, as far as we are aware, has never passed and that is not going to hold him in good favour. We are too familiar with his political views, she continued. He has stepped up and it is very challenging to remove your foot from that very, very difficult political battlefield after you have done so. According to a source who spoke to the Times and the Daily Mail, Charles reportedly called the government's decision to transfer migrants to Rwanda appalling in June and had been overheard criticizing the decision in a private setting. Charles said he was more than unhappy in the policy, they claimed. He stated that he finds the government's entire strategy to be revolting. He was obviously unimpressed with the government's course of action. Nevertheless, a representative for Clarence House claimed that the Prince of Wales remains politically neutral. They stated, with the exception of reiterating, that the Prince of Wales continues to be politically neutral, we would not comment on alleged anonymous private talks with him. The government makes judgments on matters of policy. The Queen, Charles's mother, must adhere to strict political neutrality in her capacity as head of state. For instance, Her Majesty does not vote or run for office, according to the official website of the royal family. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for...